and action okay mr Medin here guys mr m and uh, we're going to be doing knee so if you're in an x-ray radiographic program and you're doing comps hands-on practicums uh, we're going to be doing the ap we're going to be doing the two obliques so we got ap oblique with meter rotation ap oblique lateral rotation we'll do the lateral we'll do a set of gas on the table and then we'll do a camp coventry okay uh, so I, I might mention the infrared superior projection for the patella and maybe the Beckley air method, but we should probably do a separate video for those trauma when we're in the ER uh, and uh, we're doing knee projections. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a shield on her. Grab a shield here. All right. Okay, are you okay right there? You good? Okay. All right. Don't fall asleep. Okay, so now uh, they would have a gown on and her, 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 her knee would be exposed. All right, can, can I roll your pant leg? Is it okay? Okay. All right, so just so I can show you these landmarks here. So here is her knee, and here's the bottom of her patella here. So we want to be half an inch distal to the apex of the patella. So here's the patella. You see how it kind of drops right here? You see that? So about the fingers with here, that's about half an inch. So I'm going to put it right there. So again, half an inch distal to the apex of the patella. It's going to be right there. If you were to bend her knee, if you were to bend her knee, you see my finger where it's bending? That's where you're at. You're in the knee joint. All right, so we want her leg straight, just like that here. And you want to make sure your, your condyles, right, your epicondyles are going to be, you know, pretty close to parallel to the table. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reach for this right marker here. And I'm going to cone down. So right now I got probably about, what is that here? 40 centimeters, I'm going to come down to about 10 by 12. And then I'm going to come down just to the width where I want an inch on the sides just to go ahead and get my marker in there just like that. So I'm going to go ahead. This is my right AP knee. I'm at 40 inch distance uh, for this system here. We'd be using about 8 mass at about 74 kV on this system. All right, so her knee's pretty small, so maybe I'll knock it down to about 6 mass, okay? All right, and that's your AP. All right, now watch this. You ready? Right, relax, relax. So now we're going to go ahead and do her medial oblique. So we're going to keep it the same here. We're going to just turn 45 degrees. So now her epicondyles are at 45 degrees here. So the epicondyles are right here. Her condyles are here. Remember, there are no epicondyles on the tibia. You have epicondyles on the femur only. So this is 45 degrees. This is the medial rotation, and you're going to see the... Uh, lateral border, you'll see the, the tibial fibular joint up here on the top. All right, so this is what you're going to see. So whenever you turn medially, you're going to see the lateral portion of the knee, okay? So you can go ahead and relax. Now we're going to do a lateral rotation oblique. All right, so just kind of let your leg fall right there. There you go. So look, just in a natural, neutral position with her leg just kind of relaxed. You see where her, where, her, uh, where her knee is at now? It's at a 45-degree angle this way. So now we're doing a medial oblique. So this is an AP oblique medial rotation, and we're going to be doing 45 degrees. And you can see their epicondyles are here. We're doing a lateral rotation. You're going to see everything on the medial side now, okay? So when you do lateral rotation, you're going to see the medial side. When you do medial rotation, you're going to see the lateral side. All right, so there we have it. And now we're going to go ahead and transition into a lateral knee. So what we're going to have you do now is turn over on your right side towards me. Can you do that? Can you turn on your right side? You're going to bring this leg over. Okay, keep going. Uh-huh. Now bring this leg over. We're going to put that here. And I'm going to grab this wedge here. And you can go ahead and put this leg. Just kind of turn on your side and let your leg rest on this wedge here. There you go. All right. <laughs> so normally, of course, she wouldn't have shoes on, right? You're going to bend the knee. Okay. So you're going to bend it. Let it relax. And I don't know if you guys can see this. When she was straight... There's some rotation now, and when she bends it, now it goes down. The knee joint's probably going to be a little bit more. Uh, it's going to be perpendicular to the, to the joint space, and now her epicondyles, her medial epicondyle is here. You have to be one inch below. So you're going to be flexing that knee joint about 20 to 30 degrees. You don't want to go ahead and flex too much because what's going to happen is the patella is going to close. That joint space between the femur and the patella is going to close. So remember, we're doing a lateral knee. So that means we have to use an angle. So we're going to use a five to seven degree angle. All right, so there's, I'm going to use five. So does anybody know why we use five degree angulation? 
You remember? Because the femoral condyles are offset. That medial condyle is lower by 5 degrees. So when you angle it 5 degrees, you're getting those condyles to be superimposed. That's going to go ahead and avoid when you see one condyle, right? One condyle lower than the other. Usually it's because you didn't angle 5 to 7 degrees to get them to be superimposed. So here is her medial condyle right here. All right, we're going to be one inch below that. Okay, so he, again, here's her medial condyle. You have to palpate it. You can't really see it, but you have to feel it. You're going to be one inch below that, all right, just like that. So you're going to put the right marker here, just like this here. Make sure that I'm centered. Okay, close that up. And I got this in the light field. So if, you're, if you have it like this, you're going to cut off the anatomy because we work off the shadow effect, right? So you have to make sure that you got enough light, all right, for that body part. You don't want to not column it properly, but you want to column it just to the area of clinical interest, correct? All right, so this is going to be a lateral knee joint, and this is a lateral knee. It's not a lateral patella because if it was a lateral patella, it would be flexed only 5 to 10 degrees with a perpendicular central ray. But this one is a lateral knee, and this is for the lateral knee joint, okay? So this is going to be your lateral. We're going to transition now into a set of guest. So if you're in the field and you're a student and you're doing practicums and you're doing a set of guests, you're going to have the patient prone. We're going to have you face down now on the table. Okay. So be careful when you turn the patient over because if they're wearing a gown, <laughs> then you might forget which knee you're doing. All right. So we're going to go ahead and bring the receptor now, tabletop. So set of gas is going to be done tabletop. All right. So now we're going to pick up your leg here. We're going to put this underneath your leg right there. And the set of gas has an angle of 15 to 20 degrees. So we'll go 15 degrees. And again, we got 5, 10, 15, 20, right? Oh, 5, 10, 15, we got 3 inches. So we're going to go to 37, okay? So we'll go to 37. All right. So now we're going to have to go ahead and bring her leg up. And if we can't do it without her leg hitting here, so I'm going to bring this back. And I'm going to bring this over. All right. So bring it back down to 37. All right. There we go. So it kind of works out a little bit. So let's see if we can go ahead. I'm going to push this transversely right there it works out to where her foot is touching that here so i'm going to scoot this up just a little bit here and i don't know if you guys can see it looks like a peace sign you see that it looks like a peace sign right there right that's what you want to see so we're skimming the body part this is a tangential projection you're going beneath beneath the patella and right above the tibial tuberosity you want to be between those two points here you want to go ahead and make it look like a mountain, and we're going to call me here just like this, you guys, just like that, just enough for your marker to be in there. All right, so this is going to be your right set of guest, right? This is a tangential projection. So tangential is just where you skim the body part. So again, I don't know if you guys see that. You want to see that little symbol looks like a peace sign. You see that? All right, so again, the leg is flexed 90 degrees. The central ray is 15 to 20. You're going to be centered at the patellofemoral joint space, right? She's going to be in a supine position. And again, this is going to be for the femoral patellar joint space, or you could say patellofemoral joint space. But again, you're getting beneath, right underneath the patella. This is what they call a sunrise, all right? So it's going to look like a sun coming over a mountain real pretty. All right, so this is the set of gas. Now we're going to go ahead, keep you in this position here. But this time I'm going to take this back. And we're going to go ahead and do the Camp Coventry. So you're going to go ahead, put this here lengthwise. And I'm going to bring this all the way down this way here. And for the Camp Coventry, uh, the Camp Coventry is the method. The projection is PA axial. So we're going back to the Bucky. So I want to make sure that I get detented here. On the very top, I got it detented. So whenever you're using the bucky tray, you have to make sure you're detented. It's going to be on the back over here. You see those two little black arrows up there? That's what you want. All right. So now for the Camp Coventry, we're going to angle the tube 
45 degrees. So the range, the range for Camp Coventry is 40 to 50 degrees. So we're going to do it at 45 degrees here. Now notice I put the bucket tray all the way down. I'm going to bring this over here. Now we're at 45 degrees. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. We have to go down 9 inches. So that means on the track, we're going to be at 31. Do you see that? All right. So now I'm going to turn this light on here. Look how far I got to bring this back. Okay. I want to be right in the knee joint here, right in the crease. So what I'm going to do is <laughs> you can use any device really, all right, just to kind of help the patient. But we'll be at 45 degrees here. I'll use a little bit of the sponge here. There we go. All right. 45 degrees. There we go. That's 45 degrees. So notice I want to go ahead and get this area here. You see that light right here? All right. I want to be in that area here in the crease. So I have to make sure that my receptor is going to be centered. So notice I brought it all the way down. So now I can just bring it up just a little bit. Now I have it centered. So don't go off the top of the table. Remember, light diverges and it's going to keep going. All right. It's going to keep moving. So we're going to go ahead and do this here. Now, the patient is PA. Now, normally, you guys, I wouldn't have the pant leg all bunched up like this. So I just I should have a disclaimer for that. But I'm not going to have her put on a gown right now. So here, you guys, this is a PA. I'm going to put my marker down, PA. It's still the right side. All right, so there's the right marker. But I'm going to put it down here, you guys, because the patient is PA. Because when you look at an anatomical position, it's going to be facing you. But this is a PA, and this is called the Camp Coventry. I'm going to put it in the middle a little bit right there. There we go. So you're in the crease. You see that? You're in the crease. Long axis here. All right, and... I have the marker here. It's not in the anatomy. This is just her, her pant leg. And of course, I'm not going to have the pant leg all bunched up. But this is a Camp Coventry. So this is for the intercondyloid fossa. Uh, if it was trauma, it would be, I would do a Becquerel method, an AP axial. So again, for that sunrise projection, um, I would go ahead and do a sunrise. Instead of a setagast, I do an inferior superior. Or if I had a merchant board, I can do that as well. But if I was working on a gurney, I'd be doing an inferior superior. And for Camp Coventry, if it's trauma, I would be doing the AP axial. I would do the Beclier method. All right. But this is it here, you guys. I'm hoping this will help you out. We've had a couple people uh, request this, uh, our students and from other programs as well. If you have any questions, please let me know. Okay. Thank you. Hello, everyone, you guys. Thank you very much for watching the videos. I'm hoping that they're helping you out. Please make sure that you subscribe and then you hit the notification bell to be notified about new videos. Again, remember to be good to yourself and be good to others. Thank you.